this question said functional dependencies for the relation r are given and we have to find the number of candid keys for the relation the given functional dependencies are a gives bc cd gives e b gives d and e gives a so let us find closure of a so a plus gives a a plus gives a b c from b c from b we can get d so here d from c d we can get e so here all the attributes are derived from the attribute a so here we can say a is one of the candidate key and a is derived from e so we can say e is also one of the candidate keys and so let us find from b can we get uh, let us find b closure b closure will be getting b closure as bd from d can we derive anything from bd we can't derive anything so here we can't take it bd b as candidate key let us find bc closure so bc gives b c d from b we can get d now so here d will also come from c d will be getting e from e will be getting a so here you can say bc is also one of the primary keys from b bc here e can be derived from cd so here we can take cd also as a candidate key so here the candidate keys are candidate keys are a e b c and c d so total there are four candidate keys so here correct option is option c here the question is choose the advantages of object oriented methodology here four options are given and we have to choose the correct option so uh, if we see options a b and d they are the advantages of object oriented methodology but if we see c it states that oa object oriented methodology designs do not encourage more reuse here option c is wrong why because object oriented metho methodology encourages and facilitates reuse of software components so and this is the main advantage of object oriented methodology so here a b and uh, options a b and d are advantages of oom so here correct option is option b option is for the digital circuit shown in the given figure the output 0001 initially after the clock pulse appears the output q3 q2 q1 q0 will be here initial state is 0001 See after giving the first clock pulse, what about the status of the Q naught? See Q naught will not change its output because Z naught and K naught both are zero. Means it, the first flip flop remains its in previous state, that is one. But Q one toggles because Z and K both are equals to one. That means the flip flop one acts, acts in toggles mode. That is Q one becomes one. What about Q two? Here Q two, Z two and K two because it depends upon the previous output state of the second flip flop that is q1 here q1 initially is zero hence it will not change its own state that is zero itself q3 also will not change its state hence 0 0 0 0 1 1 means option b is correct which one of the following is slash r true option a the total number of keys required for a set of n individuals to communicate using public key crypto system is 2n plus 2. Option B is the total keys required for a set of n individuals to communicate using secret key cryptography is n into n plus 1 by 2. Option C both A and B are correct. Option D none of the above. 
Actually, for example, uh, secret key means it is a symmetric key. Source and destination will use the same key for communication. If source encrypts the data using key K, the destination will decrypt the data using the same key. For two users to communicate, one key is required. For three users to communicate, for example, three individuals, let us suppose user one, user two, and user three. These two must share one common key. These two must share one common key. These two must share another common key. A shared common key must be there. So for three individuals, we require to have three users. For n individuals, we will have n into n minus 1 by 2. This is for secret key. So 3 into 2 by 2. For three users, it will be three keys. That means using secret key cryptography, that is a general symmetric encryption, if there are n individuals to communicate, we require to have n into n minus 1 by 2 number of keys but it is given as n into n plus 1 by 2. So option B is wrong. And option A, total number of keys required for a n individuals to communicate using public key cryptography is 2n plus 2. Actually public key cryptography means source and destination. Any communicating party will maintain two keys. One is the private key, other is the public key. So for destination also should have its own private key and own public key. No two users will have the same public key. No two users will have the same private key. So every user will maintain two keys. For n users, will maintain two n keys. It is given as two n plus two. So it is also wrong. Option C is wrong because it is saying that both A and B are correct. So option D. None of these. Because the secret key requires n into n minus one by two number of keys for n individual users. Public key requires two n keys. Option D is the right option here. Certain computer provides its users with a virtual memory space of 2 power 32 bytes. The computer has 2 power 18 bytes of physical memory. The physical memory size is 2 power 18 bytes. The virtual memory is implemented by paging and page size is 4096 bytes. A user process generates the virtual address 11223456 which of the following bit combinations are used as the displacement. So here any virtual address in a paging system will be divided by two parts. That is page number and the displacement. The page number is indexed into the page table and the displacement is content within the page. So here each logical address virtual address, logical address, we can use the same, there is no difference. And the number of bits in each logical address, that depends upon the logical address space. What is the logical address space given? 2 power 32. So in each logical address, we are having 32 bits. And the page size is given as 4096 bytes. That means it is 4096, it is 2 power 12. 2 power 12 is the size of the page. So the number of bits required to identify a content within the page is 12 bits. And then if 12 bits are over, for example, the remaining 32 minus 12 bits we can use for identification of page. So we can use 20 bits for page identification and 12 bits for displacement. Usually there is a formula. If 2 power m is a logical address space, 2 power n is a page size. Okay, in a logical address we have m bits. These m bits will be divided like this. The most significant m minus n bits will indicate the page number. The least significant n bits indicates the displacement. So here n value is 12 because the page size is 4096 bytes, 2 power 12. And then 32 minus 12 is 20. So 20 bits are for page number, displacement is for 12 bits. So here the virtual address is given as 11, it is given in decimal value 1122356. So in binary, we can convert each into BCD code like 0001, 0001, 0010, 0010, 0011, 0100, 0100, 0100. This is the total address, virtual address. So this we have to divide. Already we have seen that the displacement is 12 bits. 12 bit means 1, 2, 3, these 4. That means these 12 bits. Zero 100, 0101, 0110. So option A, it is equivalent to option A.